Hello, everybody. This is Bill McFadden from ToneCure.com. And in this video, we're going to get in how to use sequencing for modulation. We can also use sequencing for creating melodies and for compositions and songs. But we'll focus on modulation in this one. And we'll start out with a melody everybody is familiar with. And it's Mary Had a Little Lamb. And one of the important things to be functional, to be able to easily modulate using this technique, is to be aware of what your notes in the scale are. So in this case, the melody is in the key of C. And these numbers represent the notes of the scale. So let's go ahead and listen to it. So for example, in the scale of C, the third note would be E, the second note would be D, the first note would be C, and we also have a three here again, and then the fifth note in the scale of C is five. So that's what these represent. So let's go ahead and listen to it, and then we'll show how to modulate. So we only have two chords, the chord C and G. G is the dominant of the scale of C, and that's sort of important in the discussion because this is the chord on which we'll modulate here and also here. We could choose either one. And the first example, we'll go ahead and choose the um, second occurrence of the G chord in measure seven. So let's go ahead and look at the modulation. Modulating. So now a word of explanation, when we, so here we're in the original melody, measure seven, and when we go to measure eight, we're starting our modulation. So let's take a look at these numbers underneath the melody numbers. The five, five, six, five corresponds in the key of G to the fifth and sixth note in the scale of G. And in A7, the five corresponds to the fifth and sixth notes of the scale of A major. And then the five here in the key of B major corresponds to the fifth and sixth notes in the key of B. Now the two, in this case, for the chord G, we know, sorry, we know that corresponded in the key of C, which is actually the, the key implied by the, the G7 implies a C. So we can think of the 2232 two, two, as we did originally as the notes in the scale of C. But now, since we're modulating, the key of A7 implies the key of D. So the two in the key of D and the three, so two, two, three, two. And then the B7 implies the key of E major. So the two, two, three, two.
is just the 2232 two, two in the key of E, or we can look at it as the 5 in the key of B, and the 6, 5565 five, five in here, in the key of A, the 5 5 would be the E and the F sharp. So that's what these numbers correspond to. And then we're mad. Then the B7, since it implies the key of E, we're now modulating to the final destination key of E. So that was the modulation, and that's what these numbers correspond to. So the, the upper levels correspond to the scale that is implied. Here we're in the key of C, here we're in the key of E implied, and the B7 implies the key of E. Now in the next example, instead of modulating in measure 7, we're going to modulate in measure 4. So let's listen to this. So what we did here, we played the first, actually four measures, just the way they were in the original melody. So in measure four, we're basically in using the C chord, and then if we go up sequentially from there, the next note, or the next, let's say, scale is a D scale, and if we take the three and the five and the key of D, and then we go up to the E scale, and then that would be, if we do an E7, that would imply the key of A, so we're thinking of E as a dominant leading to the A, key of A. So now we're in the key of A, the third and the scale of A is the C sharp, and the two, one, two, three, three, three. So, in order to use this technique effectively, it's it's good to know that your various scales. Your uh, really, you should know your major scales and all your keys, and they come in quite useful when you're using this technique or just composing in general. So. Pretty much that uh, concludes this video. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from TonePure.com. And uh, please subscribe and like if you found this interesting. So Bill McFadden signing off from TonePure.com.